We have six days till the movers come. I'm scrambling to get stuff done. My neighbors are modeling, so that's fun. <laughs> this week has been a little crazy and I wanted to share with you in vlog format. So let's jump on in. Hello. Today has been a day already. At least uh, I don't have anything else to do today. And it's Friday. I just got off the phone with the packing company. We did a video call, video survey of all our stuff. Makes it easy that we're not taking very much furniture. Basically only what we came with. It was actually very fast and not a big deal. And uh, we have our dates confirmed. So in less than 20 days, we will have to move out of this house into a hotel this whole moving thing it's uh getting it's getting real down to the wire there's a, a lot i have to do i have to uh go through the things that we haven't looked at in the last year or two and see if we really need them some of them we don't so let's get them out of our lives and you know maybe somebody else needs them and that'll be good that's what's going on here i'm working on moving i'm working on doing some things uh, last minute that we have to get done here. I have a headache, I need some water. Yeah, moving is hard work, even when the movers will be packing for you, which will be the case for us. Believe me, I appreciate that, because when we moved between Salai and Quebetro, I had to do the packing, and it was a lot of work. And here we are. Ooh, there's a butterfly. coming to you from my storage room. Right now it has also become the new point of drop off for all the things for moving. When you are working on your insurance form for your shipment and you're using a notebook, use pencil. I had written seven sweaters and then I found two more so I have nine. I may have more hanging around somewhere too, I just haven't found them yet. It's a lot of sweaters, I know. <laughs> I'm in my messy room. I have a fan blowing in here in case you can hear that in the background. The movers come in 12 days. We move a little after that. <sighs> Things are crazy. I have someone playing with both my kids so that they're outside getting some exercise, getting some energy burn off because I can't do that. I, I can't do both things at once. It feels like a lot. It feels like I have a lot. Even though I'm not actually busy, I'm not going places. I, have, I feel like I have a lot going on today. I am, I am taking a break in my kid's room because there's beds here and I can sit on it. I'm having all the feelings in the world right now, like annoyed that I have to pack because I hate moving. I mean, who doesn't? Most people don't enjoy the actual process of it, even if they like to move around a lot. I can't believe that after five years and two months, we are going back to the U.S. And I'm worried that it's gonna feel like a dream when I get back. Because it kind of does when I go home, it feels like Mexico is a dream. And there are so many things we could have, should have done that I wanna do and haven't done. And I'm tired of doing this, you know, bored of having to sort through all the stuff. I have got to make some progress in this room today. Yesterday I was in here and I made the mess bigger and worse. So today, something's gotta, it's gotta look better just for my own peace of mind. I wanted to talk a little bit about my weekend actually, cause it was a really um, kind of odd day yesterday. My friend's daughter invited my daughter to go skating at the park. So we went there, we got there a little early, we we're just wandering around. 
And uh, then I saw my friend. So my daughter and I ran to catch up with her. Well, she skated, I walked quickly. We were chatting as we're heading slowly towards where the skating class was. And all of a sudden, a dog came out of nowhere, ran up to her dog and started attacking it. Thankfully, it wasn't worse than it was. Uh, her dog did suffer uh, two bite wounds and luckily they were not deep white bite wounds, they just broke the skin. But it left all of us, you know, my friend, me, our two eight-year-old children that were with us, shaken. And the guy could have prevented it by having his dog on a leash, who is clearly too aggressive to be unleashed at the park. My friend's dog was leashed. So he was not a threat to this dog in any way, shape, or form. Plus, he was like this big, and the other dog is this big. So other than that, the day was really good. There's just a lot I'm stressed out about right now. I'm trying not to be, because, you know, all the sorting will happen, or it won't. And we are currently estimated under our weight limit, which is awesome, really awesome, because I didn't want to pay, I don't want to pay extra. Oh, I don't want to be in this room anymore. It's hot. It's only like 10. Haven't done anything yet, except make videos, because that's way more fun than sorting. <laughs> yeah, it's a heavy rain. Right at rush hour too, you know, how it is. My other child is in the car, so we are enjoying the rain in our own ways. You love the rain. I do. Rain, which I'll be tired of when I move to Ohio, <laughs> where it rains constantly. It's raining pretty heavily. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Behind me would normally be my fern, but I gave it away yesterday because we had such a short time to go and I wanted that to go to a good home and I am positive that it did. I do enjoy the rain here very much. I don't like that it's heavy and it's rush hour, but that tends to happen pretty frequently in the rainy season. Or bedtime thunderstorms. This happen a lot too. It is raining so hard. I've just been driving in this. There, you can see better. I, it worries me though on the roads. So my husband's commute's pretty long. And as I've said, the roads flood very easily, very quickly. They're just not designed for rain, even though they do have two to three months of rain here, they're not designed for it. So it makes it extra dangerous. Ooh, lightning. The more I do, I swear the worse it looks. I have two containers full of clothing that are good enough for now. I've been doing this for probably an hour and a half to two hours off and on so far today. I just feel exhausted. I did sleep better last night than the previous night, thank goodness. And I am making progress. And this week, I have one week today till the movers come. So I want, I want to so many things. I want to snap my fingers and have this done. Another interesting thing happened last night. Um, one of the other expat moms called me. I, we discussed exactly that, how we wish we could snap our fingers and be done or go to sleep and wake up and all oh, we're already moved back to Ohio. We can't do that, so here we are. Yeah, my neighbor is hammering something. I don't know what, it's loud. <laughs> Better than when he does it at like 11 o'clock at night though, so I'll take it. Little interjection here. My neighbor is having his roof garden redone and it's really loud. 
So the next seven days, that's what I'll be living with. Uh, all right, I'm gonna try to get some more stuff done and then work on editing this video into something somewhat coherent because there, so, there are just so many pieces. It's more of a vlog this time, I guess. morning from the this is my roof garden so if you're wondering what a roof garden is that's it I wanted to check something and some gas put in I want to make sure they did that yeah they did good interesting thing today there is a situation and I wanted to come up here and see if I can see anything it's happening pretty close to us but there are too many houses and and things like that in the way. Be in that direction. That direction, more or less. There was a rumor going around a couple days ago that there were gonna be government maneuvers in the area. We're like, what are government maneuvers? <laughs> the situation is that the university here has some land that people had illegally built houses on. And you think, okay, well that's not right, of course. If they're building houses on this empty land, it's not okay. However, these houses, some of some were built a couple decades ago. Some have changed hands. So there are people who were scammed and now they they think they own their house. How does this happen? I had decided already, not quite understanding this situation as of yesterday morning, that I would not attempt to go to school today. Uh, my husband decided to work from home. We weren't entirely sure what was happening. Right from here, everything looks peaceful, but I know that the main road out there um, is blocked at one of the roundabouts. I'm not sure which one. I am gonna run to the grocery store because it's less than a mile away and it should not be in the path of that. We'll see. Today, I'm gonna try not to take any other video than this. I'm gonna get this. Like I really wanna get this edited. They, it could get violent over there, but I don't hear any gunfire or anything, so I don't know if they've started the eviction process. I still can't believe that this happened. Like, decades. So the plan today is, with six days left to move, that I'm going to make a lot of progress in a lot of rooms. Everybody is home today, getting underfoot, of course. So we'll see. My big refrain over the past couple weeks has been, it's crazy town and I'm tired. Today I'm okay, I'm refreshed. I haven't even finished my coffee yet. It's, it's like eight in the morning. It's chilly, it's really nice. I'm gonna see if I can leave you with a little bit of this um, clouds that are covering the mountains. It's really pretty. I will show you the mountains in a minute, but first here's an update from the store. Somehow I ended up taking both kids to the store and it's closer to the area that's well, I don't even know. Nobody seems to know exactly where it was. But it looks okay here. Nothing to fear. Well, have a great day and thanks for being here.